Peace, beautiful family. This is Danielle, and you are watching Fly Girls Manifesting. So today we are talking about the law of assumption, like we always do on this channel, but also how it can help you to make room for your desires and prepare for the things that you're calling into your life. So without further ado, I'm going to give you three different ways that I believe will help you to make room for your desires, call in the things that you deserve to have in your life, consistently persist do your affirmations every day especially before you go to bed yes okay so without further ado we're gonna get into the video number one when it comes to making room for your desires we need to physically know exactly what is going on in our life take inventory of what's working and what's not working the things that are working for you, we keep those things. The things that are not working, that do not serve you, we declutter. We get rid of it. Physically, decluttering means literally going through papers, old stuff that, that you had from when you was a child, things that you don't wear anymore, stagnant energy, stuckness in your house, things that are just sitting there with stagnant energy. Those things have to be done away with. When we talk about energy and the laws of the universe, whatever you make room for, you create a vacuum for it to be replaced with something else. Right? That is a universal statement. That is a universal law. So with the law of assumption, you're basically calling into your life. You're saying that this is what I deserve to have. This is what I believe. This is how I know that my reality is unfolding. And you stand firm in that. When you declutter your environment, what you're saying to the universe is, I'm ready to receive what it is I desire. Okay, so we're going to go with the notion that most of you can look around your space and see whether your space is clean, it's organized, everything is in place, you've organized things to your liking so that you know where everything is and how things are supposed to be placed, right? Well, think about it this way. When you make room and you declutter, you also make room for your own mind and heart to focus on things that are not stressing you out. So spiritually decluttering means also to take the time to center yourself, to focus your thoughts on only the things that you desire to have. Peace and blessings on your life. When you think of your lover, you think of them in the most loving way. You release all of the things that have haunted you from your past, all of the, the sad times, all of the arguments, the fussing, you declutter that from your mind. It may be a process, and I know that it's not going to happen overnight, but we are making room for new things, for new feelings, for new thoughts, for better thoughts. So yes, we are making room. Now, the second way, and this is my favorite way, this is really fun, prepare physically and spiritually. So physically preparing for your desire, that could be your specific person, it could be a new job, it could be a business venture, hell, it could be just having fun, wanting a, a more exciting life. But let's just say that you are a person who's manifesting romance in your life, you're manifesting your lover, your specific person, right? So what does preparing for that person look like? If you live alone, do you have space for a second person? Do you have a space clear in your closet? I'm looking at my closet right now. Is there space for a second person? Do you have a bed where the bed can be shared by two people? Are things set up in your house where it would look like there's a plate for two people to eat? Are you planning a trip with you and your lover? Let's say to Hawaii. What does preparing for that trip look like? Well, number one, you have to look up the flights. You're going to need a bathing suit, so you got to plan out how your hair is going to go, where you're going to eat, all of these yummy and exciting things that you're preparing for. So preparing for anything, physically or spiritually, looks like taking the time to see what is necessary in order for you to get to where you're going. So spiritually preparing for anything in your life also means that if you are a person who is loved, adored, 
cherished. Preparing yourself for that means to become spiritually connected to your higher self. Prepare your heart for love. And you prepare your heart for love by doing loving things. Love on yourself. Show love to someone else. Show love to your animal. Become love so that you're preparing yourself to receive love. I hope this is making sense because this is the game changer, guys. Make room for the things that you desire in your life. The law of assumption is a beautiful law to go by when it comes to knowing that whatever you proclaim your life to be is what it's going to be. If you assume it to be so, then it is that. And what you do, the third thing is you persist. You persist in the state of the wish fulfilled. How do you feel when you have your desire? If you were happy in love, things would be a lot differently than thinking about the past things that did not work. People who are prepared for their desires and who are calling in their desires, they're not dwelling on the past. So neither are we. When we call in love, when we call in business, when we call in new and exciting opportunities, we are affirming, we are persisting in our assumptions. And specifically, we're doing this before bed or in a relaxed state. You don't want to be uptight like this, like, okay, I'm going to affirm. No, relax, take a deep breath, persist in your assumptions, and just know that there is the vacuum law of prosperity. You can look this up on YouTube. There is a statement that says whatever you make room for, the universe has no choice but to replenish it. So yes, now is the time. Manifest your desires to you easy, quick, in the desired state that you want them, by making room, right? Prepare. Get your bikini, girl. You're going to Hawaii with your, with your lover. Okay, you have a job interview. It's not just a job interview. Prepare yourself for all of the things that the person who would be working in your position would be doing. Look up online, what are the duties? Imagine yourself with that uniform. I got this beautiful topic from the women who are doing the seven day mental diet reset we have a beautiful group of women who we all text each other on WhatsApp. I'm so blessed to have you a part of my tribe. So if you are interested in all things, law of assumption, self-concept, manifesting your beautiful life, and doing that by changing the power of your thoughts, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, share the content, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.